let me tell you a story about a man named John Doe living in America. We're going to call him Johnny for short because it's easier. So Johnny was born in the United States and his parents bought him a little t-shirt, little onesie that said, I'm stupid and I can do nothing. And that's how it all started. Why did they do that? Well, because Johnny's parents also wore a shirt that said, I'm stupid and I can do nothing and I can accomplish nothing. You see, they were already older, so they already got the advanced version. Then Johnny started going to preschool. And the teacher, first day of class, he said, everyone, raise your hand if you think you are stupid and can do nothing. And of course, Johnny raised his hand because on his first day of school, he brought a shirt that said, I'm Johnny, I'm stupid, and I can do nothing. And on and on every single year of his, his, his school, he went to first grade, second grade, third grade, till eighth grade, and eighth grade is graduation when they handed him his his, his uh, diploma on it was just a few words. All it said was, I'm Johnny, I'm stupid, and I can do nothing. And then he went outside to play with his friends before the start of high school. And then, well, he was about to take a shot. Then he looked at the ball, and the ball said, I'm Johnny, I am stupid, and I can do nothing. And he didn't managed to score any shots because again he is Johnny he is stupid and he can do nothing and so basketball was 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 out of the talk and then it came to maybe maybe football you know it's almost school maybe high school is great for football so football and as he was you know rushing the quarterback suddenly the quarterback whispered into his ears you are Johnny you are stupid and you can do nothing and right then and there Johnny got tackled because he stopped so when, he, when he realized he was Johnny. He was stupid and he can do absolutely nothing. And high school was just the worst because even though Johnny had passed all the tests in his, his elementary school, when it came to high school, all his teachers, all his friends, and all his colleagues, they all told him one thing. He is Johnny. He is stupid and he cannot do anything. Also, he can't amount to anything. And so it came time to go to college. Well, Johnny didn't really work in high school because all he heard was he was Johnny, he was stupid, he couldn't do anything. So he couldn't, he didn't actually learn anything in, in high school. So he came out of high school a really dull, stupid person, even though in elementary school he passed with flying colors because, well, he was physically smart. But again, he is Johnny, he is stupid, and he can do nothing. So he flunked every test, and now he wants to go to college. Well, there's one slight issue everyone knows, and especially Johnny knows, is he is Johnny, he is stupid, and he can do absolutely nothing. And so what was he to do? And then he found out, well, no, don't worry, Johnny. You can go in because you are Johnny, you are stupid, and you can't do anything, and that is qualification enough. And so Johnny went to school, and lo and behold, he was Johnny, he was stupid, and he can't do anything. Well, because that's what everyone told him. And so he goes to he goes to college, first day of college, he gets into class. Teacher hands out all the papers to all the students. When he gets to Johnny, he says, no, Johnny, you don't have to take this. You're Johnny, you're stupid, and you can't do anything. So he took the paper back and said, don't worry, I'm going to mark as you did it. Because, again, you are Johnny, you are stupid, and you can't do anything. And so Johnny flies through college. It's amazing. He goes through different programs. And every program he gets to, every single class he gets to, he just... He passes with flying colors because he is Johnny, he is stupid, and he can't do anything, and therefore everyone has to help him get through everything. Okay, well now he's out of college, he passed with flying colors, he gets to he gets to work and he, he looks around and there's a lot of people just like him who are named Johnny, who are stupid and who can't do anything, that are getting paid hundreds of thousand dollars, and he feels very relieved. And so he gets he gets to his desk the first day and he he picks up the phone and he realizes he has to call someone. He picks up the phone and he says, I am Johnny, I am stupid, and I can't do anything. Please do this. And the person on the other other side of the phone promptly hangs up the phone because that person is not Johnny, that person is not stupid, and that person can do some stuff, and so therefore he doesn't want to deal with this person who can't do stuff. So he hangs up the phone because you want to speak to competent people, obviously. And Johnny 
since birth he has been told he is Johnny he is stupid and he can't do anything and so this happens a few more times and now Johnny is scared that he might get fired because again he is Johnny he is stupid and he can't do anything even though he went through college and he has all these great qualifications that has never changed the fact that Johnny is stupid and can't do anything and so now he the boss calls him to his office and he says he now he's thinking in his mind well now I'm gonna get fired because I'm stupid and I can't do anything and so he sits down and lo and behold there's another Johnny there. And so the Johnny, uh, the, the the boss Johnny, um, speaks to the employer, employee Johnny, and he says, we know what's going on. We know why you're not succeeding. It's because, and Johnny's thinking, well, it's because of me. He says, no, 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 it's not because of you. It's because the other people you're speaking to are not Johnnies. They're not stupid. And they can do things. And so we have to change that because you are Johnny, you are stupid, and you can't do anything. And so for the next 10 years, Johnny and the other Johnny work very, very hard to change the world. So everyone is stupid, everyone's name is Johnny, and everyone can do absolutely nothing. And they start succeeding. And then one day, Johnny has a thought in his head. Why don't I become a lawyer? Is there a qualification for being a lawyer? I don't know. So he goes to the college that he, that he passed with flying colors and he says, how do I become a lawyer? And they say, take these classes. And he says, yeah, but I have no clue how to be a lawyer. I said, don't worry, Johnny, you're stupid and you can't do anything. So we're going to have to pass you through. To just read some, you know, precursor book, precursory books and we'll just pass you. And lo and behold, he becomes a lawyer and he starts later getting cases. And then one day his wife comes to him and he gets married because everyone could get married. It's this amazing thing in America. And his wife says, hey, Johnny, I know you're stupid and you can't do anything. Why don't you become a politician? <laughs> I mean, is there a bigger job for being stupid or not doing anything? And he's like, okay, I mean, what do I have to do? And so he becomes a councilman. And then two years later, he does a great job at being stupid and doing nothing because that's what everyone's told him his entire life of what he can and cannot do. And everyone knows that Johnny is stupid and can't do anything. Great qualifications for every single job possible. And so he becomes congressman of a state and four years later he becomes the senator of his state the congressman of his yeah made a mistake there but let's continue and then four years later he becomes the mayor of a city now he's famous he's johnny he's stupid and he can't do anything and everyone he loves him and everyone's like look at all his qualifications now of course his city is currently in ruins his state is up to debt up to their up to their literally if they're drowning in debt it's absolutely insane but well it's not his fault he's johnny he's stupid and he can't do anything so you're gonna blame him we already know that we knew this from birth you, you can't you can't force this on him He's Johnny he's stupid he can't do anything of course the city and the state are going to be completely in ruins because that's what everyone's told him his entire life so if you blame him you can't blame him that's just not that's just wrong and so now many years later he's already starting to gray in his little in, in, in his beard and so now it's like why don't I run for president and why well I'm Johnny I'm stupid I can't do anything may as well run for president and while well, he runs for president and lo and behold everyone loves him and he wins and well, he's Johnny, he's stupid, and he can't do anything. Um, so the country slowly gets absolutely destroyed, and it devolves into chaos, and the world blows up, and we have nuclear war. And the last dying statement of the last human on Earth is, well, he was Johnny, he was stupid, and he couldn't do anything, and thank God we did this. Now, if you haven't realized yet, I am talking about Johnny is obviously John Doe, is a random black person in America, from birth they've been told that they're black so they're stupid and can't do anything and every time they try to do anything everyone tells them no no you're actually you're stupid and you white people are a bunch better than you obviously it's pretty much how it goes you get the you get the elementary school and the kids have to be taught well the white kids are smarter than the black kids it's just how it works and the black kids have to be given more things because they're just stupider you see in israel no one ever says that the muslim kids are dumber than than the jewish kids it's just an assumption is that the muslim kids never learned hebrew that's the big difference than the Jewish kids, because the Jewish kids are born with Hebrew, but the Muslim kids usually are born with Arabic, and so they, they're given a little extra credit because they're a little, little less adept at speaking Hebrew. But in America, no, no, no. It's if you're black, if you're white. So if you're black, 
you're Johnny, you're stupid, you can't do anything. And I'm realizing that Johnny might sound a little bit racist, but again, it's just John Doe. That's all I meant. Maybe, maybe John Doe is racist, I have no clue. And so then you get to high school and, you know, all these kids are starting to, you're starting to see what they want to do in life. And so Johnny's like, you know, all these black kids are like, well, maybe I want to become an astronaut. So you're too stupid to become an astronaut, you're black. Or maybe I want to become a school teacher. Well, you're, you're too stupid to become a school, school teacher. Well, well, you're black. And maybe I want to, I don't know, become president. Well, you can't become president because you're, you're stupid because you're black. And obviously it's going to change in a few years because the entire world changed. But that's what happens. And in college, well, either you get into college as a, as a, whatever for sports and things like that it's absolutely idiotic well or or they don't go well, you can't you can't get in you can't you're, you're you're too you're too stupid you're too black it's just not gonna work and and this just goes on and on and on so imagine if your whole life you've been told you're stupid and you can't do anything and maybe you're smarter smart as hell you know, maybe you're the most genius person in the world but when it gets push comes to shove you're you're not going to do anything because you think you're stupid. And if you think you're stupid, you literally can do nothing. And so you can become president and ruin the world because everyone keeps on telling you you're stupid and can do nothing. It's weird because even stupid people can actually do really great things. They just have to work extra hard. They know they're stupid. They accept that fact and they work around it. And therefore, even stupid people can become presidents, can become, you know, society leaders, can become school teachers, principals, astronauts, things like that. They might have to work extra hard as regular people or smart people, but they get there. But the problem is when you tell even smart people, you tell them, no, because of your race, you are stupid and you cannot do anything, then guess what? They absolutely believe the fact that they are stupid and they cannot do anything. That is why Asian students are the one of the most productive students in the world because their parents tell them, you're Asian, you're smart, you can do everything. And then they go and do everything. And that's why Jewish students are one of the smartest students in the world because their Jewish mothers are yelling at them, you better pass through high school, you better pass through college, you better get to your university, you better become a lawyer, you better become a doctor. But it's the complete opposite in the black community where it's, you can't become a doctor, you can't become a lawyer. If you even think you can get through university, you, you, you're crazy because you're black. Black people can't just get through university. You need a diversity, equity, and inclusion in order to get through university. You're stupid. And so it's an obviously breakdown of society. And the only way solution to that is to stop giving these little one-year-old kids these onesies that say, I'm black, I'm stupid, and I can do nothing. Because guess what? If you keep on telling someone that, then they're yet, yes, they are black. And then they will become stupid. And guess what? They will not be able to do anything. And that's what we are currently seeing in our world. We have a bunch of people who are currently stupid and can't do anything. Welcome to America.